we got you the best Prime Day deals for DJs. October 2023 edition. What's up, y'all? My name is Andrew, the DJ Connect. You already know, so I'm not going to waste your time. I have got, I guess, the best deals um, from Prime Day for October 2023 coming at you right now. These are some of the best deals that I found. And unfortunately, in America, I think they're kind of scamming you guys. This is the first time I've ever seen Canada have a better prime day so for canadians i might be giving you a new video as well i'm going to do a different video but i'm going to show you everything that i found to be the best for american djs and i saved all of the best items for last so make sure you watch this whole video through it's not too long but uh there's some nice goodies in here there's some really cool items i hope you watch the whole thing so let's hop into it right now let's go and to start us out, we got the cart. This is probably my favorite purchase that I did this year. I'm getting older. I don't want to admit it, but it's true. I, I think I've done my time of carrying speakers all the way in, go, spanning like 50, 100 feet, walking across a room, setting things up. Do yourself a favor and get yourself a cart. I got the rock and roller cart. Unfortunately, I didn't see any name brand carts. So you're going to have to just kind of take a shot in the dark here. But these are great prices. You can't hate on that. And it comes with this little stand here. That's super important. With the rock and roller cart, I'm going to have to go and kind of figure out a way to build it to make it work. Um, I actually created a cart, a dolly cart for my podium, which I'm going to show you guys later. I just kind of built it, created it myself, and it worked well. Like it worked amazing in, out. Everything was super quick, super easy, very light. Once it's on the cart, you're literally just pulling things around. So I really recommend getting yourself a cart, save your body. Like I don't care if you think you're in shape or whatever this will start catching up with you one day uh, make sure it's a convertible cart so that you can close it up it needs to lay flat even my rock and roller cart does not lay this flat so that's good to know um, I kind of have to jam mine in to make it work it works but um, it is what it is I really recommend getting one where you don't have to do the work to kind of build it out I don't know if this thing's gonna last forever but look around there's a lot of carts on there so just find out the one that works best for you the one that you like to look at and go from there next up we got this case for the ddj rev one if you have a rev one i know a lot of guys right now have the rev one um and a lot of guys are saying that the rev one's really good i'm thinking that this is going to become my backup unit just to have keep it in trailer in case something ever happened and this is a great price for a carry case um it's a, a, like a nice carry case i don't even know if you'd need a deck saver and yeah for the price of the rev one i probably wouldn't get a deck saver for it you probably can but this thing looks like it would do as good a job as anything so i would just be gr grabbing this no problems no questions asked next up we got the knockoff chroma keys this is something that i need to get ahead and do uh the whites i'm definitely gonna be um wrapping my rev 7 all in white because my new podium is all white so i'm going with an all white i've never wrapped a controller in my life i'm not someone who's even into that but we all know that we're doing weddings so white is what's up here you go knock off chroma keys i don't think there's any reason not to buy this i would run I'll like i am buying this i'm telling you right now uh make sure you go get your knock off chroma keys sorry to chroma key it's just they're here you guys didn't have a sale this should let you guys know anytime there's a prime deal, make sure the name brands get out there because that's all I can recommend. I can only recommend what's there. So Chroma Key, let's get some sales going on. Next up, we got some knockoff cheap little uplights. Um, and this is not for your DJ who's really already out there. This is literally just for the DJs who are starting. Uplighting is your cheapest, best Thing that you can do best thing that you can sell like they don't have to be incredible these are obviously not oh it says they have dmx control sound activated uh i don't know if that's wireless dmx but these are are great for 157 dollars you can't go wrong for 10 up lights i was just doing a ufc style fight on saturday for this very big company huge budget huge everything and literally all they had was four little stupid up lights plug in up lights just like this in the corners let me be the first one to tell you this that i'm sorry to have to let this out of the bag but nobody cares about lighting 
nobody. Nobody cares about, like, how nice your lighting is and stuff. They might, when they're there, and say, like, oh, wow, this is great. But when you're trying to explain this to your clients, they don't care. There are some clients who do care. They're like, they see that picture and they're like, the platinum package, I need that. I need everything. I need it to look like a club. I need it to be hype. But 99% of people, they don't care at all. They don't know what uplighting is. They don't want to. They don't care. They don't want to spend more money. If you're just getting started, I would grab this right now. Um, rock them until they break. Like it's $157. That's a lot better than spending $2,000 to get uh, like some nice uplights or something. Take it from me. Like if you're just getting started, I would be buying these right away. Don't, don't let anyone tell you any different. Don't say you need to get the Chauvet nicest, but like expensive uplights you don't man and it just goes to prove it i was at like a ufc not the same level but this is like i don't know two levels down from ufc and all they had in court they had four little stupid up lights in the corner they didn't change color it was just blue green yellow and um whatever blue green yellow and orange all around the room and they just that was it <laughs> so nobody cares let me be the first to tell you, don't worry. Don't worry. You think you have to go spend all this money. Don't worry about it. Just get what works for you right now and do that. Next up, we got a laptop stand, $23. Either a laptop or projector stand. What I use it for right now is projector. Anytime I have karaoke or something, I do the exact same thing. I lock the projector in. Like I don't care if someone comes and knocks it. It's going to be all right. I've never had an issue yet. These things are great. Like The base is amazing. If someone just knocks it, it's probably not going to fall over. In the future, I now do have, I think it's called like the projector gram stand where it goes in it, it snaps to it and you're able to freely move it around but for the first five years of my career this is all i used and it did well i think i spent a hundred bucks on mine so let me tell you right here 23 bucks um i'm grabbing one <laughs> I'm, I'm buying another one whether i need it or not i'm just i'm buying another one because it's something to have in your tool bag that one day it's going to come up where you need this thing and then you either have it or you don't it fits in a bag like you're you're good to go and if you guys have been following me for any amount of time this is no surprise to you the samsung t7 shield 2 terabyte solid stay hard drive buy it right now don't think about it don't think about anything buy this item right here right now don't don't worry about it don't think about it this hard drive is incredible i bought this i think last black friday and it's been my favorite purchase i've ever done in my entire life i know there's a lot of guys out there saying don't buy hard drives but i love having my hard drive i love having all of my music and then because it's ssd it's not going to slow your your system down at all it's like instant load you don't need to worry about someone bumping your computer bumping the table and like oh my god is my hard drive okay um no this thing you'll throw it anywhere it's got the heat sink upgraded heat sink it's not something to worry about this thing is the best the absolute best like do not think go buy hit the buy button right now link is below don't even think about it uh you got the four terabyte let's check the pricing on this that's pretty good price 200 bucks like that's what i spent canadian to get the two terabyte uh, if you want the four terabyte, you're good. I literally am almost at the point of filling up my two terabyte. Uh, and I've been working on my hard drive for about 15 years. So if I got the four terabyte, I'm good for another at least 20 years. Um, I, if you guys do videos and stuff like music videos, you're going to want the four terabyte. I'm not a music video guy. I know that videos are going to take up a ton of space. You might just want like a separate hard drive specifically for that but this is it like do not think just go buy next up if you know me you know that i'm all about these like usb-c cables and stuff um for everyone who has a rev 7 something i have heard is that the reason that it stutters when you hit the play button is because it's just like a usb dropout for me I'm a guy who buys like a hundred of these cheap cables. I know that they're going to break one day and then I just throw it out and use a brand new one. I haven't tested it yet, but I will be testing it because I'm going to buy a bunch of brand new cables of this. This is something that just started happening as well. So makes sense that it would be the cable is starting to fail there's a lot of my friends who are like you buy the best cable the most expensive cable because it's going to last your lifetime but the most expensive cable is probably like 40 bucks 
I'd rather buy four of these and throw them all out than go buy a $40 cable because that cable is not going to last me forever because eventually they're going to change the cable again. Normally, it's like I'll get two cables out of the, the length that it, that cable is available for. It's going to move to USB D or USB 9 or whatever comes next. It's never just going to be the same thing. So I would always rather just buy the cheap one, throw it out when it's broken, and then put in the new one. So essentially, it's time for me to get a new cable. And when I get that cable, I'm going to make a video to show people what's going on and why that would happen. So, because there's a lot of people out there with the Rev7 who say they're having this problem. And from what I've learned, I haven't talked to Pioneer yet. But I've heard that it's just a USB dropout. So getting a new USB cable is going to fix this. And this is just a direct patch in. Uh, it goes USB-C because everything now is USB-C. But for our devices, they're all going to be USB-B still. So unless you want to get like the connector cable or you want to get something else, you can kind of make your choice here. But I would always recommend just doing this. Have the right cable. Then you don't have to have a million cables. Just get the three foot so it goes in your controller into your computer you don't got a ton of cable waiting around or if you need like a longer cable i have cables for everything i get multiple cables i'm just i'm that kind of guy i like to have a different cable for whatever the job is i want the specific cable for the specific job that's who i am that's what i like to do next up i was hoping that you guys had a Furman power conditioner or something but unfortunately you guys don't canada does i don't know what's going on here uh, i guess america is just so good you guys are doing so well you don't need the best of the best deals but what i've got coming up is um extension cords but what you need as well is like a power conditioner something professional that's going to make sure your gear is safe um, you have like a charging outlet, something, everything that's here so that you are ready. Like when you are, it's time to go, time to start playing and you're setting up. You don't want to be setting up a hundred different extension cords. This happened to me on Friday. It was just like the room that I was in was very weird. The power situation was not good. I had to literally pull out every extension cord I had. Like, thank God I roll with 10 extension cords. Every single one was in use. It was annoying as heck, but I didn't have like, what am I supposed to do? The job has to get done. I don't, I can't like mess around at this point. The job had to get done. It had to get done correctly. And what that meant to me is I had to pull out everything that I had to make the job work. So let me tell you, like if you're just starting and you're getting out there, I really recommend having more than you need at least in your car, like somewhere, somewhere that you are not going to like make the mis mistake. If I didn't have all of those extension cords, I wouldn't have played that night. Like I would have had some problems. Um, I would have been freaking out, stressing. I was definitely stressing and like, cause I was running around setting everything up, but I was able to make it through. Like once everything was set up, everything was good. Cleanup, that was a nightmare as well. But when I was needed, everything was good. So I really recommend getting like something that blocks noise, blocks interference, uh, really protects your gear. I would get a Furman power strip, but it's not unfortunately on here. So hopefully there's something else for you guys. It's got incredible ratings. Like I think it's probably a pretty good choice. Monster is a really good company. And then next up 50 foot X XLR cables, like no questions asked. Again, I had to pull out my 50 foot XLR cable last weekend just to make the job work. The, now, you're getting two two this is a two pack two 50 footers for 39 bucks it's a no-brainer like one day something's gonna happen where you need this cable just buy it like don't don't think about it uh it's balanced cable as well heavy duty like don't even think about this just go buy this right now for your sanity in the future there's gonna be a time where this comes up do not be like lacking do not have a mistake happen because you just didn't you want it to be a little cheap guy and not have this cable with you or like with my buddy he wants to spend buy the most expensive cables so he doesn't have 50 footers he has like very expensive 20 footers but what happens when like he needs a hundred foot there's just one day that for some reason, a hundred foot away, he needs a hundred feet of cable. He has absolutely no way to do it because he wants to spend more money on the expensive cables and forget about having the longer cables. Think about this. Think about your situation. Like it might not be the greatest cable on the planet, but there's going to be a day that you need this. I promise you that 
think about it. Just, uh, don't, actually don't think about it. Buy it right now. Link is below. Just go there. If you have to buy one item, make it this one. So important. It's going to save you one day in ways that you're never, like, you wouldn't even believe. Next up, we got the Mackie Pro FX 6 channel mixer. If you guys don't have a mixer, I would probably recommend getting this just to have one. Um, I just have, like, a little Yamaha. I think exactly the same thing, a 6 port Yamaha mixer just in case like I've heard a lot of people say that you're going to get a lot of sound out of your mixer. I've only just started using mine because I finally went and got like a real deal sound system. So now I'm starting to use my mixer, but all the time before I just went outside of my Rev1. I went out of my Rev1 directly into the speakers, but now I got subs, I got tops. From what I've heard, you're going to get like an extra 20% of sound out of just using a mixer. I recommend this. I don't really recommend Mackie, but this is the one that I saw. I, I don't think any, anything is wrong with it. I don't know. It's got great reviews. Probably a no-brainer. Like, if you don't have one, I would get one. And it's crazy because when I bought my Yamaha, I spent like 100 bucks on mine. But now it's like 200 bucks. So prices are not going down. They're not going anywhere. Just buy it. Hold on to it forever. Like, I'm, I would assume this is going to last you for the rest of your life. Just buy one, make the investment. This is like, if you want to be a professional, you have to be a professional sometimes. Trust me, I'm the guy who like, I try and get away with everything, but there are times and places where you have to. Like when you are at like a big venue or something, you have to make sure it sounds right. And for that, you need mixers and stuff. If it's just like a little wedding that no one's going to notice, no one's going to care. Yeah, I'm the guy who literally just goes out of my board into the speaker. But there is a time and a place where you need the, pr the proper stuff. So do yourself a favor, buy yourself a mixer. It's a small price to pay for the future of your business. And here is one of my wild cards. This looks like a great deal, man. Save 110 bucks. Uh, having a drone is just like a no-brainer. What I want is the drone that like the AI drone that's just gonna follow me around my life and just videotape everything that I do. I don't think this is the one. It, it doesn't have no AI capabilities, but it's good to have a drone. Like just have one. You never know when it's gonna come in. Like if you're at like a sick wedding and you wanna create like an incredible video for them, there's always time during cocktail hour where you could like literally just throw it out take like a shot of the uh, the whole area or if you're at like a cottage country where I am all the time we're in cottage country having a video of like the the horizon and like zooming into the tent at the start of your reel would be so sick so I'm probably gonna pick up something like this I want the AI drone that's like literally just gonna follow me around but I don't think that exists yet when it does I'm all about it oh my god it says follow me it says follow me this could be it oh my goodness um i would say buy this right now and uh let me know let me know i'm not sure the ones we have in canada but i'm gonna be buying one of these if, if there's one that says follow me sold it is sold uh and then another little wild card right here we know halloween's coming up everyone needs a cool little a mask or something when we're djing halloween this looks kind of cool you can make whatever you want it to look like you can it looks like there's a bunch of pre-built or you can build your own just a cool little thing to have 55 bucks may as well i don't i don't see any reason not to buy this especially if you do halloween parties probably a dope little thing to have this is just a wild card not needed but it's fun. It's cool. And then coming up, the best. I saved the best for last for you guys. This is the M Audio Air uh, USB audio interface. So if you don't have um, a sound card, external sound card, I really recommend getting one, especially if you guys use speaker monitors. Like I got the Yamaha HS8 right here. If you guys got professional audio, you need a professional sound card, like straight up, no questions asked. I did find another sick one from Zoom, which is up next, but this one's probably really good too. Amazing ratings, 25% off, no brainer. Like if you guys do not have an external sound card, just pick one up, do yourself a favor. Unless you're using really quality sound, then it doesn't matter. But if you got like real speaker monitors, get yourself a sound card. In Canada, we have the actual focus rights on sale which is crazy, but you guys don't. It's only like knockoff stuff, which is weird for you guys. I'm sorry, America. Canada is winning this Prime Day. But uh, yeah, if you don't have one, get this. 
Next up, it's just the Zoom. So whether either you get the Zoom or you get the M Audio, I don't know which one's best. This one doesn't have great ratings, but I know it's brand new. Um, I would assume a product from Zoom is really good, but uh, from the ratings, we don't know. So I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. You choose whichever one you want, but I just saw that there's an actual Zoom branded sound card. It's probably good, we don't know. Let's check the ratings just to find out. Three star, super excited, disappointed when I opened it, how cheap it is. Eh, that's just, I don't know. That's probably someone just knocking it for how it's built. Uh, I won't really worry about this. Here, this guy's got actual like specs, which I can't even go into. Like, I don't know anything about that. I'll be the first to, to uh, uh, let you guys know. I'm not gonna sit here and lie that I know anything about the specs, but I would assume coming from Zoom, it's gonna be pretty high quality. Um, it might be made of plastic or something. This guy's mad. Like, forget about that. It doesn't matter. As for sound quality, that's all we care about. And last but not least, I saved this one. Uh, this is the Bose knockoff. Um, I would say just buy this, especially if you're a new guy. Just buy this thing. It's going to save your life in so many ways. The Bose is expensive. You're looking at like $700. Um, I would just get this for like a little Bluetooth battery speaker. It probably does well enough. Uh, do you get all these mics and stuff? I probably wouldn't be using the mics, but who knows? I would, I would just be getting this just in case. You never know. Uh, it's just like the little throwaway speaker that uh, you rock it until it's blown. And then eventually, once you're making real money, you go buy something real. So don't think, just act. Buy a lot of these products. Um, just the cheap stuff that's going to work for you. And last but not least, I'm allowed to give out free Amazon Prime subscriptions. So hit the link below, get yourself a free month of Prime, at least for Prime Day, because you need Prime to get Prime Day. Uh, just hit the link below, you'll get a free Prime. Or if you're a student as well, you're gonna get better deals. If you notice, I got Business Prime here, I get even better deals. So if you're a student, make sure you click the link below. Uh, or if you just need a free Prime, hit the link below. Uh, you can also get four months free Amazon Music. Link below. Hit the link below. Or if you guys want free Prime video for a month, I got you again. Hit the link below. Free Prime for everybody. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Let's go. I would definitely be buying the stuff that's going to serve you in the future because that's all you need. You need the stuff that's going to be like there to save your butt when when it comes down to it like the the extension cords the xlr cables do not be ever caught lacking without xlr cables or something like that to ruin a wedding over something that simple is like a no-brainer and i know people who are always in this situation they don't have the right cables they don't have enough cables they're, they're always like just trying to make it work and it, it makes it so much more stressful save yourself the stress save yourself the headaches and just buy what like what you need to buy it's so simple i don't understand why people don't get it like just spend the time spend the little bit of money up front to buy the stuff that you're gonna need get the 50 the 50 foot power cable that's gonna go anywhere anywhere that you need it like don't don't stress that like oh my god i can't get a power outlet and this is what happened on friday like there's no power outlets anywhere i'm literally having to like make a daisy chain out of all of my extension cables just to power one little unit. I couldn't even run it like through my um, Furman power conditioner because I literally just had to make it work. So do not get caught in these situations. I roll with like f five different extension cables. I roll with everything just in case because you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes you're just going to show up to a venue and like things will be changed on you. And you don't know what's going on. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry there's not the greatest deals. I'm probably going to do another video for Canada. Because Canada's got some hype deals. But for my American friends. Just get the stuff that you need. Get the stuff that's going to serve you. It's, it's all cheap. Like I only picked out very cheap items. Because I'm a guy who's like. Buy it cheap, throw it away, and then when you have the money, then go buy the expensive stuff. Never start with the expensive stuff first. Like, don't be that guy. Don't think you have to go buy the nicest stuff to get started. It wasn't for me. I started with all of the cheapest everything and worked my way up. And that's how I do it. So please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Let's go, fam.